Good morning. We're here today to talk about the process of doing an ankle brachial index. You would do an ankle brachial index to establish the quality of arterial flow, especially in patients who have lower extremity wounds and who you are thinking about um, using compression on as a treatment. Um, the setting today is a outpatient wound clinic, so part of our normal new patient workup for patients with lower extremity wounds is to do um, an ankle brachial index. So today we're going to demonstrate the process of obtaining that. Now also remember that if the patient is um, a diabetic, uh, an ABI can be falsely um, high, so um, but we'll talk about that after we get the results of this test. First of all, you put the, uh, a manual blood pressure cuff on the patient's arm on the side that the wound um, is. And uh, then you just use the stethoscope and manually obtain this blood pressure, um, the systolic blood pressure. Then you take the blood pressure cuff and you wrap it around the ankle. And if you have a wound on the ankle, you just um, it's fine to do it on top of that. You just cover the wound with a sterile gauze and then try to wipe the cuff off after that. Prior to inflating the cuff, you want to uh, use your Doppler and locate the dorsalis pedis pulse. And then you inflate the blood pressure cuff to the point where you um, blitherate the sound. And then the first sound you hear is your ankle pressure. don't have a, a chart, you just divide the um, ankle pressure by the brachial pressure to get your result. A normal result being um, 1.0, so naturally the ankle um, pressure should be just the exact same thing as the systolic pressure. Um, we have a chart as kind of a cheat sheet, so um, locate the brachial pressure of 110 ankle pressure of 110 and you come up with 1.00. So, and that is a normal um, ABI. Now, with the diabetic population, you have to remember that um, oftentimes their vessels are calcified, so you can't rely totally on this as a diagnostic tool if there's any doubt about arterial flow because of the appearance of the, the extremity you probably want to go ahead and get uh, an MRA or a CT angio to demonstrate the quality of the arterial flow. Um, so that's our lesson in ABIs for today.